What's up there, YouTube? Uh, you seen in my Amigo build here, I uh, put in a CB radio. <clears throat> and my, uh, my uh, Trailfinder 2, he has CB radio in there, the driver holding the mic. But none of these trucks have antennas. So I, I came up with this idea a while ago. And uh, I found some things online. So I just thought I would share with you my little scale build here. I took a, this is the uh, whip antenna from that comes on the 114th scale king hauler and I cut it down to about five inches left the uh, springy base here and I don't know if y'all are all familiar but I remember back in the, the 80s and 90s growing up anybody had a big whip antenna you stick a tennis ball on the end of it that way when it's flopping around and you're on the trail or off-roading and it hits your car the tennis ball will just bounce off and it won't you know crack your window or anything ridiculous like that so I thought that would be kind of a neat little touch so I got on eBay found this little tennis racket and a tennis ball set now this tennis ball is not bouncy it is just like a little cast piece that's painted so i um, gonna drill a little hole in it and try to figure out a way to keep it on the end of this antenna. Alright guys, just show you what I'm using. I, I uh, grabbed the smallest drill bit I had and I tightened my drill all the way down the mouth of it and it wouldn't hold it. It was so small. So, luckily I have all this old stuff for my Dremel and I've got a, a different attachment here. It goes down in the head of it and I can run these tiny, tiny little drill bits with the Dremel. So, I'm going to start with the smallest. I think that'll be about the right size and we'll drill a hole in this <laughs> tennis ball. <laughs> Alright, drilled it out. Um, let's go figure out exactly how high I want it and put some glue in that tiny little hole and hopefully it holds in place till it dries. Uh, I need to figure out what vehicle this is going on, I guess, so I can figure out where I'm going to mount it and where the ball needs to be. So, I'll do some looking around here. All right, guys, got the uh, glue on there and drying. I was thinking about mounting it, and uh, this little, this massive uh, flathead bolt that was in my little home repair kit comes with thumbtacks and nails and screws and stuff. It threads perfectly into this coiled section. So I decided I'm going to mount it in the back of the Amigo, and I'm going to drill a hole this big. I'm going to cut this bolt down, and I'm just going to screw it through that way. So, I think I'm going to put it about right here in that inner fender. I can easily get to it from the bottom to put this through and drill it through. So, I think that looks pretty cool. Maybe, well, a little further forward. Maybe right in the middle. I think I'm going to go more to the back. So, I'm going to go ahead and pop that off and drill it out and we'll see what it looks like. Alright guys, I didn't screw it all the way down at the base because I'm not done with the interior and it was very hard to get out of there the first time I uh, screwed it in a little bit so it's still a little loose but it will set up straight like that once it's tight. But uh, yeah, it's pretty neat, just a little, little something I thought of. But uh, yeah, keep this video short. Uh, thank you all for watching and like, subscribe and share and stay tuned for more.